Hey everybody, it's me, back again. I, you know, I just couldn't wait till this Friday, and uh, <laughs> a lot of you wrote to me, Greg, I know you're not going to be able to wait till Friday. You remember last Friday, I said I wasn't going to be back for a week? Well, all right, look, there's just so much to talk about. It is now Thursday, December 28th, 2017. <laughs> Let's start off with this before I even move forward. Today, um, new records for the stock market. I know not one of you, again, is surprised about the action you're seeing here with regard to the stock market, especially, especially those of you out here who know where to look. And that is exactly the bond market. Over the past two days, I mean, the action in the bond market has been, again, literally off the charts. Uh, and I know those of you who've been going to my website, TradersChoice.net, are watching this in real time going, this is just incredible. And that's exactly what it is. As a matter of fact, go have a look at it. <laughs> um, in the, in the uh, description of this video is a link to my website. Click on that. Look at the bond market chart. It's frankly unbelievable. I mean, epic bond buying to try to prop this stock market up. And, and today, it paid off. It paid off. Um with new records here you know just just talking about that real quick if you follow my work at all I always tell you to um, all my trades more specifically go to my social networks and I will post whatever changes I make to my positions now those of you out here again follow along with me on my trades Friday I told all of you I opened a position Netflix NFLX March in the money calls Said I, I told you what I was doing, and today at the market open, I doubled that position. I posted it on Twitter, I posted it on Facebook, I posted it on uh, Google Plus. So you know you can follow along with me. That's already a phenomenal trade. It was down past couple days, but the reason why I didn't I, I didn't add to that position. I was waiting until today. I was just waiting for this market to pop. The bond buying was off the charts. This is why I can't stress this enough. While all the other idiots out there are watching the stock market, you're watching the bond market. That's why I kept that position. That's why I doubled that position this morning. I'm already up over 11%, and we'll see where this goes over the next couple of days. Uh, they are determined to prop this up. Uh, I, I have no doubt. Now, let's talk about a a few other things. So we covered the bond market. It's incredible. You know that they're not going to stop. The dollar, the U.S. dollar for the past two weeks has been in a downward spiral. Uh, as a matter of fact, it even got some attention today on CNBC. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. You know what happens when I mention CNBC. Okay. I'm not going to say anything bad about these people, but they did cover the dollar action today. Gold and silver, although I despise talking about these things, uh, also a very nice run over the past several days. And why? Because the dollar is going down. This is the usual relationship that we're supposed to get. Why? Gold and silver are priced in dollars. If the dollar is weaker, it should take more weaker dollars to buy anything that's priced in dollars. You understand? So simple. But the, the rigging with regard to the gold and silver markets, the derivatives are off the charts. Um, now, let me just say this as well before I say anything else. As you can probably imagine, when I, I, I am not joking, several thousand questions coming into my email box about Bitcoin. When, look. People, um, you have some kind of fixation on this thing, and I know there's a lot of you who bought pretty much at the top, and you're worried. Okay, I'm going to say this again for the millionth time. Just please pay attention, and this will cover a lot of things that you need to know. If you've been watching the futures, you've seen what, what Bitcoin has been doing. This is a classic case of the tail wagging the dog. I don't care what the fanatics are saying out here with regard to it. Bitcoin may may go higher it may go lower all you need to do is watch the futures I mean how many of you are here with a show of hands yeah you you exactly have heard me say that 
So with, with regard to questions on Bitcoin, I'm almost, you know what, I'm not even going to cover this anymore because it's getting too stupid, quite frankly. Watch what the futures markets are doing. Uh, follow geopolitical events as well, and you will know what's going to happen to Bitcoin. It's gotten nowhere pretty much since uh, it had a hardcore sell-off when it started trading under the CME on the CME exchange, it went from like nearly 20,000 to like 10.7. I don't even know where it is right now. And frankly, I don't care where it is. I really don't. So uh, watch those futures. I, it's just so simple. Go to the CME website and you can look for yourself. Um, anyway, with regard to that, I, I really don't want to talk about it again. It's getting it's getting over the top here. And And, and just one last thing. Please don't invest one dollar in anything that you cannot afford to lose, and 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 that's the theme again. Greg, what do I do? Greg, what do I do? What do I? First of all, if you follow my work, you should know what to do. <laughs> um, and you should not get involved in any kind of trading or investing if you're going to get all panicky about it. That's not where you should be, um, and it drives me nuts. Um, okay, so what else do we need to cover here today? Let's see what happens here with this market, people. Again, I'm, I'm still long that position on Netflix. I might actually add to it again. I'm not sure. I want to see what happens tomorrow. You always got to have capital reserves. That's another thing real quick. You want to be a real trader. You want to... You, you, any one of you out here that is taking your whole whatever you got and throwing it into one asset at one time, frankly, you are an blank. Fill it in. You cannot trade like this. You will lose. You trade the way that I tell you, and you will win. It's so freaking simple. And you, you want to know how to get into this? Go to my website. Free brief. The, the one thing every trader must do to be successful. Just download it. It's free. I'm not kidding you. You never, never go all in on one position. You always open up a small position or a half position. Half. Let me cover that real quick because like, these are for people out here that are refusing to download my free brief. I don't know why. It's absolutely freaking free. Let's say, for example, you got $10,000 that you want to allocate into a particular asset. Okay. You take half of that. You open up your or less. Okay. I like to use a half position initially. If I had ten grand, or if I'm going to invest ten grand in a particular derivative, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take like five grand or four grand, buy it, watch what happens just like I did with Netflix. This is classic, classic what I did today. I watched it, but I'm watching the bond market too. You got to put all this together. You watch it, you see what's going to happen, and then you saw what happened today. Bam, right at the open, I doubled that position. I may actually, it. will I double it again? Probably not. I'll probably, if I'm going to add to it again, uh, I might put another, uh, maybe another half, okay? And then I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll pull a profit and I'll allocate those funds into something else. Trading is not that hard. If you break it down and you have a plan and you have a strategy, that's all. Okay, enough of all that. Watch that bond market. I know that's what you're doing. As a matter of fact, over the past couple of days, I'm saying, no, 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 no. My people are watching that bond market. They're ignoring the dog shit stock market. Watch that bond market. You know what to do. To do, you know how to move your money around, your your cash around. Watch that dollar. It's it's really weak and it's falling over the past two weeks. So we'll have to keep our eye on that too as well. And that's going to be it for today. But you know what? <laughs> I'm going to see you in the morning. I said I was going to be back on Friday. I know I'm here now. I just had to get this out here. And um. I hope all of you had a really great holiday, Christmas. I missed all of you. I really did. And it took a lot for me not to get a video out. So here I am. See you in the morning. Over and out. I love you all. Over and out.